Yeah, MTMG, I'm the vet. Shit, 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 shit. Get, 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 get music. From the club to the telly, this how we make it happen. Besides rapping, we trapping, this how we make it happen. Two of the baddest bitches and they got that thing clapping. I just nod my head, this how we make it happen. From the club to the telly, this how we make it happen. Besides rapping, we trapping, this how we make it happen. Two of the baddest bitches and they got that thing clapping. I just nod my uh-huh. head, this how we make Let's it happen. Let's keep the night confidential, this fast life I'm into. These niggas with the rentals while we in the continental. Doing it big like C. Wallace and this ain't telling the she Wallace. Throwing back. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Urbanite Geek. Head with a little review real quick. My purpose of the review is, you know, I was looking to, to buy a watch box, you know, a while ago, and I ended up making my own because all the reviews I was watching, they wasn't telling me, you know, how was the watch going to fit with a large watch, a small watch, you know, do the watches fit in the drawers at the bottom? They never showed any of that stuff, so I ended up making my own. But as you can see, you know what I'm saying? That thing got filled up quick. So, went on overstock.com. I found this drawer right here for $60. Um, it holds 20 watches. So, I'm about to let y'all know the things that I wanted to know when I was trying to find a watch box. Like, are the large watches going to fit? And will they fit around the cushions? Is it flimsy or whatever? So, let's get into it. You know? Right here, got the glass top. You got 10 in here, and you got 10 down here. So, let's see how a large watch will fit on there. Largest, here I got this right here. These are like the two largest watches I got. So we gonna see how these fit on the bottom drawer. How they fit around the cushions. This was um, $60 from overstock.com. So when I seen it was only $60, I jumped on it. Most of the ones I was looking at at the time, they was like well over $100. And I was like, I'm not gonna spend 100 on the watch box because <laughs> I'd rather bought a G-Shock. So that's how that look on there. And this is a King G-Shock, so this is like, it's probably going to be the biggest watch I own. So, let's see how the drawer closed with that in there. Perfect. It's not hitting the top. Nothing like that. Let's see how it fit. Sitting in here. It's not hitting the glass, so it's cool. You know what I mean? Um, it came with a key. You can lock it. It's a little flimsy key, but if they really want the watch, they'll open it. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? But basically, that's it. Overstock.com, $60. Something to hold your watches in. Display them. Or whatever. You know what I mean, shout out to the whole G Shock Society, all the TCF members. You know what I mean. Shout out to G Shock Warrior for doing that crazy video, shutting down all of that bootleg stuff. Mad props for that. So I'll let y'all later. Stay tuned. I got a couple G Shocks on the way. I'll let you. Walk like I ain't got a care on the atlas Rooftop view, see the heavens from my mattress Bad bitch masturbating with my ratchet I see money blow the coat from my glasses Uh, it's six speeds on a casket I call it that cause I kill it when I'm lapping The text in the V's is plastic